Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Solo Nightmare Cube by Silver1906. Difficulty hard. Well, the last time you said it was hard, it was actually easy, so I don't believe you. This is not for the faint of heart. Seriously, we've intended for this to be rage-quitting levels of frustration. Uh, generally, I don't play maps that are rage-quitting levels of frustration. But if you want a good chance, Okay, so here's the thing. Frustration and challenge are mutually exclusive. Well, actually, not necessarily. But, uh, generally, you don't want something to be frustrating and challenging at the same time. Generally, you don't ever want something to be frustrating. We've designed this literal cube chamber specifically to push the human brain to its limits. Our data shows that this test will put humans to levels of frustration and anxiety beyond what is healthy. Yeah, generally, generally, that is not a good selling point, that is not something you ever want to say, that is not a way that you want your maps to be. <laughs> That's something to strive not for. Or at least that's what we're hoping for. Why would you hope for that? We've said all this, and you're probably going to beat it with no problems. That would be embarrassing. Uh, yeah, don't... I think you have some confusion here. Okay, so, there's a huge difference between difficulty and challenge. The more difficult something is, the more frustrating it is. The more challenging something is, the more fun it is. A good puzzle that uses your brain can be challenging without being difficult. It can be challenging without being frustrating, it can be challenging without being execution-based. There's lots of ways to make good puzzles that don't explicitly make you want to stop playing the game due to frustration. So, yeah, do keep that in mind, that there is a big difference between these words that you're using. Anyway, I'll get started in just a sec. Alright. It took a very long time to stop recording after I read the description, so hopefully the audio is okay. But, uh, yeah, let's get started with the map and see just how frustrating or challenging it is. Please continue into the next test chamber. Uh, I would like to Which do that, but I have to solve this one first. And how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Generally, you want to turn those dialogues off. Because they can be kind of annoying and also not usually too relevant. Okay. What is this music? Is this Portal Pro? I've, I've never heard this music before. I have no idea what I'm listening to. Okay, well this is a place that exists, I guess. That has no signage on it, I'll have you know. Okay, what's the point of that? What is the point of any of this? What is even happening right now? What? Why, though? None of this makes any sense. I'll just put this here. Looks like we need something up there to turn off the fizzler, huh? No matter. Wait, what- what did that even do? Oh, it turned that off, huh? What turns off the Fizzler, then? Am I following these ant lines along? Wait, what? Is this connected to the Fizzler? That's not what it looks like. Alright, let's, let's do some experimentation here. That does a flip panel. I can't even see what this does. Hold on a sec. I just wanna look. Visually. That does not do the fizzler. Okay. No idea what the flip panel's for. Honestly, not sure what I'm doing here. Hmm. Let's explore over here. What is this? Okay then.
Why is there so much stuff, and so much wasted space? Why are there so many cubes? Okay, so, here's another thing to keep in mind. Uh, you should check out Hanky Miller's maps. Hanky Miller makes incredibly challenging maps using only two cubes. Like, most of his, his maps have just two cubes in the entire map, and the maps are incredibly challenging. I think- I think one of his maps is even very challenging with only one cube. So, uh, yeah, you should see how less is- less is more, honestly. Can't even tell what's going on here. These ant lines are insane. But at least they have signage, unlike whatever the laser catcher does. Come on. Ah, whatever. What does this go to? It goes to nothing. Absolutely nothing. I don't understand what that edit line does. Hmm. What does this do for us? Does... the light bridge? Okay, sure, why not? We'll do that for now. You did an excellent job placing the edgeless safe. You have no idea. Alright, enough of the annoying dialogue, please. Let's go figure out if this is helpful in any particular way. I don't think it is, honestly, but we'll see. We shall see. Nothing seems to be particularly useful up here. We have a button that does that for a few seconds, I guess. Maybe we can use the light bridge with that, I don't know. Got another place to store an agile safety cube, I suppose. What does this do? Well, that dropped a cube somewhere. Okay then. What am I supposed to do about that? What is the point of this fizzler, even? That fizzler serves no purpose, as far as I'm aware. There we go. That's that problem solved. Let's look back down here, and do this, I suppose? we have up here, and why do I want to be up here? I see no point to this. There's no point to that. What does this button do? Oh, it does that. Why didn't it have signage, though? Even knows. Who even knows? Alright, well, let's just do this the easy way. There we go. Weighted cubes calibrated. Yeah, blah blah blah. Sh hush GLaDOS. Holy crap, what the heck? Why? Oh my gosh, how many cubes are here? that antline go to? What? Oh, it goes through here... to this. Okay. Not at all what I expected that to do. Um, at least the cubes are color-coded, so that's nice. Huh, 
don't think I've ever tried to put a cube in here before. It's interesting how it kind of fits. Hmm. I suppose I should start doing stuff with the laser, right? Guess we don't really need the light bridge anymore, so let's turn that off. Turn the laser on. where you can't pick them up unless you bump into them. Right, where are all the laser receivers again? There's one there. That one doesn't do anything particularly useful though, right? So what is this? That's what I want to know. What is this area? Okay, apparently that did things. Oh, it turned off the fizzler, didn't it? Well, we have access to this now, so there's at least that much going for us. Not sure what the point of that was, honestly. So at least we know we never need to use that ever again. There, that should be good enough. There's no other laser- laser relays around here, right? Oh, there's a laser here? When did that turn on? Okay, I guess that laser is just permanently on now, so let's, uh, let's go get rid of this laser then. Who needs that? <laughs> I'll just put that there for now. Yeah, this laser is just on now. Come on now, we can do better than that, can't we? There we go. Ah, good enough. Right, so. Let us figure out what that's for. Oh, the ant line goes underneath! That's dumb. So that's half of the requirements, or something. Wow, that was a weird bug. I don't even know what had just happened in it. It's like the game did a cut of its own. Alright, so. There's that. Where's the other half? Oh, it's that, huh? Oh, maybe we do need both lasers. Come on. Oh yeah, because we can do that from here. Okay. Noted. Let's put the edge of the safe cube back inside here. So far this is not a puzzle, it's just boring activating things. Right, so. Now with the second laser. Where do we want to point this again? Down... somewhere downstairs. Right there. That's so. There we go. We have another one. There we go. So I think that's everything in here, right? Everything in this area is accounted for. I'm not sure what the faceplate's for, honestly. Where would it even launch me, though? What's even connected to it? That, and... I don't know, it didn't even work when that was activated. So let's just forget about it and ignore it for now. 
did we do that one yet? No, that one is... that. Okay, so let's work on that next, I suppose. There we go. Right, so. Let's just hop down here, I suppose. Walk across here, yada yada. Do that. Here. Just walk up here like a normal person. And that is that problem solved, I suppose. So now we got another cube to deal with. Come on. Who even knows what we're gonna use that for? So at least you just put this in its place, right? The audio seems to be bugging out a little bit for me. Hmm. I think we're almost done. Let's see. One, two... One, two, three, four... We have one... Two, one, two, three, four... Yeah, we're done. Okay, so I just need to put these all on the ground. That's easy enough. Alright. You get on the ground. And you get on the ground. And you get on the ground. And we walk back over here again. Like a normal person. I guess once we're up here, yeah, we don't even need the light bridge anymore. What the heck is the point of this area? Who knows? Who knows? Alright. Let's put this one here first. All the way back. Pick up this guy. Put it in its place. Not sure what all this other stuff was for. Honestly, some of these cubes we didn't even use. Like, uh... Like that cube? Didn't even use it for anything. We just immediately spawned it and then put it on this button right here. There we go. And... there we go. Come on. And now the exit's open. Yep, well, that was pretty bad, honestly. That wasn't the puzzle, that was just wandering around pushing buttons... ...and, uh, pointing lasers. Yeah, I think I've linked to Rectorox's Guide and Demon Horizons map series already, so you already have those links. Anyway... As always, thank you so much for watching. Your I really appreciate it. I'll see you all in another video. Wrong. Goodbye! They described it as impossible, deadly, cruel, and one test.